Very classic styling. An aft cockpit boat, but it also has an aft deck. Nice and protected. This is solid. Wow. Definitely did not disappoint my expectations. What's up guys, I'm back here in the mobile studio and I have got a great boat tour for you today. It's a tour of a 2000 Cabo Rico 42 and I've toured a Cabo Rico before and I absolutely loved it. So the bar is set pretty high. So let's go ahead and see what this one has to offer today. But as always, real quick before we get to the tour, if you haven't already and you enjoy these videos, please hit that subscribe button down below. It certainly helps us a lot, helps us to grow the channel. So thank you in advance and without further ado, let's get to the tour. All right guys, so I just stepped aboard and already I can tell that this boat has good owners that takes care of her and that she's in really, really good shape. Let's go forward first. So at first glance, you know, the decks look awesome. The teak looks awesome. Everything's kept up. We've got covers on all the hatches. Lots of good handholds going forward. Nice wide side decks, nice and tall lifelines here. Mast is down, but we've got your chain plates right there. They look to be pretty dang heavy duty. And then we've got stainless steel port lights, opening ports throughout. Going forward, lots of good passive ventilation. So I see four Dorades on deck, up to the foredeck. Good size foredeck. The coach roof is brought pretty forward on this boat. So we've got, you know, probably five, six foot foredeck right here. Good size, big old horizontal windlass and a nice big bow pulpit right here again everything the stainless steel the teak everything is in beautiful beautiful shape and then of course standing on the bowsprit yeah you, you just got to looking aft beautiful looking boat very classic styling and then this bowsprit looks to be about four or five feet got a couple of bow lockers up here i believe these are going to be chain lockers yep so you've got lockers for your anchor chain and road, as well as a deck wash down, so you can wash down your chain coming up. Looking aft and going aft. Again, just very, very good looking boat. I love these Cabo Ricos. Mass is typically gonna be right here. Lines all leading aft to the aft cockpit. Life raft on deck, very important. Your main sheet travel right here is gonna be forward to the cockpit, which I like gets it out of the way a little bit better for safety and then aft of that traveler we've got a full enclosure which I think is probably a must for a northern boat like this so in cold windy weather you can obviously enclose this entire cockpit which is beautiful love that got two big solar panels one over the bimini and then one on the davits on the stern of the boat there but let's go ahead and go inside the cockpit now so just at first glance we've got a modest size cockpit right here that full enclosure is awesome you can even see up at your sails right there when you're at the helm yeah I can see cruising in colder nasty wet weather and being very very comfortable back here very nice we're gonna go ahead and go through that opening right there and check out the aft deck all right so I'm on the aft deck now and obviously sections of that enclosure can come out and then you have looks to be a nice big aft storage locker back here a couple of stern rail seats dinghy davits with that solar panel off the back there so good amount of room back here you know this is an aft cockpit boat but it also has an aft deck which is you know pretty unique not many aft cockpit boats have a space after the cockpit like this and then you've got propane storage back here as well this is nice i like this and then this stainless steel bimini is super solid this whole enclosure is super solid all stainless steel one inch and going forward we have our helm raymarine chart plotter cockpit cushions all around nice teak flooring in here we've got six winches in the cockpit so you can control the whole boat from back here 
and the safety of the cockpit. And you got nice view forward, nice and protected all around you. And then you can see up to the sails as well, if they were there. <laughs> got some cockpit lockers as well. That's pretty, that's big. Yeah, so you've got a nice big dual cockpit locker under here, under the helm seat. It's gonna be access for your emergency tiller, I believe. And I've got one more lazarette right here. And big old cockpit locker. That is massive. Because there is no cabin on the port side right here, so all of that is storage. Beautiful. Love it. First, before we get to the interior of boat, I'm gonna thank Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. Now, sponsorships like this help keep the content flowing, so I also wanna thank you guys as well for understanding. Growing up, I loved cereal, but as I got older, I realized that the cereal that I used to love as a kid really wasn't the best choice health-wise, as it's loaded with added sugars and other junk that really shouldn't be eaten all the time. Also, I'm always looking to add a little extra protein in my diet, and most major cereals that are out there really don't have much protein protein in them. Enter Magic Spoon. Now, this is cereal reinvention. It is a healthy option for a cereal that tastes just like the cereals that you might remember from your childhood watching Saturday morning cartoons. You'll love all of the delicious flavor options, so much so you might not believe that these cereals are actually good for you. Magic Spoon cereals are high protein, low carb, sugar free, gluten free, grain free, and naturally flavored. Cereal doesn't get better than this. You can build your very own variety box and choose from the best selling cocoa free frosted, peanut butter, cookies and cream, and or maple waffle flavors, plus other awesome flavors including honey nut, blueberry muffin, and cinnamon roll. There's also cookies and cream and coconut peanut butter flavored cereal bars available to add for when you're on the go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the nutrition facts here. We've got 150 calories per serving, zero grams of sugar, and 13 grams of protein per serving. One of the things I like to see is there's nothing on this ingredients list that I cannot pronounce. Now, I'll tell you what, my personal favorite flavor is actually not one flavor, but two mixed. I love the fruity flavor mixed with the blueberry muffin flavor. That's what I'm eating right now, and it's awesome. Click the link in the description below to get some Magic Spoon cereal today. You can also build your very own variety box and use my code Learning the Lines for $5 off. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that it is backed by a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like the cereal for whatever reason, you can get a full refund, no questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click the link below and use the offer code Learn the Lines for $5 off your order. Alternatively, you can go to magicspoon.com slash learning the lines for $5 off your order today. Also, this is very relevant to me because as you all know, we just moved to Canada, but Magic Spoon has always shipped to the US, but they just added shipping to Canada and the UK as well. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me. Now let's get back to the boat tour. Going down below. Wow. Definitely did not disappoint my expectations. This is the second Cabo Rico that I've toured and that I've personally seen and yeah, I mean, you could just tell quality, beauty, I love it. So directly to port here, we got a nice little nook shaped galley right here. We've got tons of cold storage below the counter right here, fridge and a freezer. Lots of little cubbies, things, spice rack, like that. More storage behind the gimbaled stove right there. Drawers, and then access, front access to the cold storage down there. Looking forward, we've got our sink. I believe the engine will likely be under here. Storage. Storage, microwave, double sink, nice and deep. I like that little knife block idea. And then under the knife block, you've got storage behind the sink. Multiple options for water, trash, 
And I think, all right, and it looks like if you pull this out, you'll have access to the top of the engine. Let's take a look at that engine access. So we've got the diesel engine down here under the galley counter. We've got multiple access panels to be able to access it, but it is right here. All right, so overall, nice, safe galley. Certainly, it's beautiful, lots of storage, good engine location with some good access panels as well. We're gonna look aft. So we've got the companionway stairs right there. Beautiful woodwork everywhere on this boat. Look at those companionway stairs. It's beautiful joinery. And then again, just this is solid. You just don't really see this in modern production boats. It is just absolutely solid. That's why I love these Cabo Ricos. And then back here, we've got an aft cabin. Looks like, you know, we've got enough room for two people to sleep back here. Unfortunately, this boat is in storage mode. So we've got this area being used as storage, but it is definitely a beautiful cabin and you can tell lots of storage again. Just beautiful joinery everywhere you look. Nice big stainless ports. The cabin sole is in phenomenal shape. And then just forward of that aft cabin, we've got a forward facing nav station. And this is a nice little nav station. Certainly not the biggest that I've seen, but this is very well integrated. It looks very comfortable. Good place for one person to sit, do some work on a laptop, do some navigating. And you've got all of your instruments, chart plotters, AC and DC distribution panel. Looking forward to that. This is something I actually didn't notice earlier, but you've got overhead storage right here in the galley. I love that. Then you've got these nice gimbaled lanterns for heat and for light. You got a settee right here to the starboard side. Storage behind and below. We've got your obligatory bookshelf right here. Pretty sure I have some of those books. Looking to port here. We've got a U-shaped main settee with a square table storage down below. Very nice. Again, storage behind that settee. Gonna be below the settee as well. And again, just the joinery, the finish. Everything is in beautiful shape, immaculate shape. I love it. Got some more books back there. And I definitely have that one right there, Storm Tactics. Headliners in beautiful shape. Got air conditioning on this boat as well. This is where the mast would normally be, but since we're on the hard, the mast is down. This wraps around the mast. Keel stepped mast. Got some vertical lockers right here. Hanging locker. And then to port. So this boat has one head, but it's a nice head. And as you guys can see, this boat again, it's in storage mode. Just wanted to mention that again. So a lot of the cabinets are being left open. So you have a separate shower, nice big head, beautiful. Going forward to that head, we've got a V-berth up here. Pretty big V-berth. Got storage all alongside again. Kind of a standard V-berth, very, very beautiful. Can sleep two people up here comfortably. Got a little seat right here, help you get up into bed but it's gonna be your standard V-berth where you, you know, two people are gonna to wanna to sleep with their head on this side, feet that way. Storage down below. And then up here in the V-berth, got a door that closes. Get some privacy while you're up here if you have guests. So we've got two cabins, one head, and a beautiful vessel built to go anywhere. All right, so under the set T here, just wanna show you guys we got more access to the engine filters and then underneath as you can see we've got more storage some reflectix down there so the current owners have insulated uh it looks like a good portion of the hull and that's pretty good for a northern boat like this but we've got storage down below that settee both settees behind the settee down here under the galley cabin sole you've got access to your dripless stuffing box right there exhaust drive shaft and your bilge down there. So just giving you a shot down below, below the water line, all in really good shape as well. We have a true full keel with a protected rudder on this boat. And it also looks like we have a feathering prop and a line cutter right there on the prop. So pretty awesome down below the water line. Rudder looks like it's in good shape as well. Very nice. All right, guys, it's time for the full continuous blow decks walkthrough from bow to stern.
Alright guys, so that boat definitely did not disappoint. I mean, the quality of that boat was just top notch. I mean, the woodwork, the joinery, just the way it was built, you could feel it being down below. I don't know how well that translated to the video, but you could just feel the quality of the boat just standing inside it. The bulkheads were like that thick, and that goes to show you that this boat is overbuilt and it's not gonna fall apart at sea or over time, really. Just absolutely super high quality. And you guys saw, it was apparent how well the current owner has taken care of her. I mean, everything was in really good shape. So the last Cabarico that I toured was a pilot house design. This is more of a standard cruiser design, but both of them are absolutely gorgeous boats. So I do like the overall design of this boat, even though it is, you know, more standard, more traditional, which you normally see in sailboats of this size. It has that single full head with a two cabin layout. So with that, I think this is a great boat, more for a cruising couple or maybe a small family. But, you know, definitely as the kids get older, if you have more than one kid for sure, you're going to want something with a little more space than this boat. So anyway, as with all of our videos, the broker contact information as well as the current asking price is going to be in the description below if you want more information and or are thinking about potentially purchasing this vessel. What else is there to say? I guess I'll just reiterate that this is a top quality, you know, world cruising boat. It's an awesome boat and I think she speaks for herself, so I think I'll stop talking about her now. I do want to say I am enjoying touring these northern boats. I've always heard that northern boats are going to be in better shape than Florida boats for a lot of different reasons and I think I'm seeing that to be true. So anyway guys, as always, if you enjoyed this one, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you want to know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go